Yo, what's up guys? In this tutorial, we will learn how to make this really cool looking glitch text reveal animation in After Effects and it's super simple, we don't need any plugins, so yeah, I'd say let's just go. So let's go into our new composition and I just made a little background, but yeah, let's focus on the text. So let's just add a new text and I'll just type in easy again just like this and press S on this keyboard to scale this up just like this again and now we can go to the align tab on the right and just center it horizontally and vertically and if you can't see this tab you can just go to window and make sure the align tab is checked right here but yeah as soon as this is done we can right click on our text and make a pre-composition and it's really important that these settings are selected so yeah, make sure it's like this and then just yeah, press OK and now we can start adding the most important effects and the first one is the transition block dissolve so you can find this under transition it's called block dissolve and just apply this and then just go forward like one and a half seconds wherever you want this animation to become completed and put in a keyframe at 0% of course and then just go to the beginning and bring this up to 100 and now we can see we have this weird animation and this doesn't look like a glitch at all so we have to adjust a few settings so first of all uncheck the soft edges box just like this and bring the height to something like 25 and now we can see it looks a bit more interesting and yeah also bring up the block brightness to also 25 just like this and this looks interesting but a bit boring so let's actually just open this up real quick so we can see the keyframes and also animate the block brightness so let's go to the beginning put in a keyframe at 25 and then just go forward when the animation ends and bring this up to 250 and now we can see this looks way more interesting we have this cool fast animation, this fast glitch and yeah, this is cool but still something is missing so let's add even more glitch effects so this looks more interesting. So we have to now make a new glitch layer which we will then use as a displacement layer. So create a new solid, press ok and just look for the um, fractal noise effect and just apply it and most importantly change the noise type from soft linear to block like this bring down the complexity to something like 2 and bring up the contrast to something like 300 and also open up the transform and uncheck the uniform scaling and just bring the whiteness again to something like 1000 just like this and yeah then let's go to the beginning and put in a keyframe at the evolution setting and go to the end and put something like 5 into the evolution so we have this yeah this moving effect and yeah when this is done we can right click the solid and pre-compose this again and again we have to make sure this this setting is selected the lower one and not the upper one and just apply it and now we can hide this and go back to our text and look for the displacement map effect and just apply it as well and select our our glitch layer for this just like this and as we can see we have a nice glitch effect but let's again play with some settings so i'd like to bring down the vertical displacement to zero or maybe one and then we also can animate this so let's go to the beginning and put in something like 80 at the horizontal displacement and put in a keyframe then go forward like one and a half seconds and bring this down to five or something or even zero if you wanted to stop completely afterwards but we wanted to remain a little bit like this but otherwise now we can see we get this really cool looking glitch animation and yeah that's almost it we can even give it some more nice effects like a glow for example so we can just apply a glow effect and bring up the radius to something like 300 and change the intensity to 0.2 this looks cool and we can also apply a 
Venetian blinds, blinds transition, buff the glow effect and just bring this up a little bit, something like 10 and bring down the, the whiteness a bit so we get these cool stripes which I think look kind of glitchy or old school. I don't know how to call it but I think this looks interesting and we can also change the direction angle to 45 and play with these settings a bit if you want of course this is not necessary but yeah I think this looks cool and yeah we're done with this one we can also change the transparency a bit by pressing T on the keyboard and bringing this down to 80 if you want this to be a little more like a hologram 